Alrighty, so before I begin, as per usual, I'm going to ask you to subscribe and like if you haven't already, because it helps me out. At least, I think it does. Maybe it doesn't. Who knows? But anyways, you should do that if you haven't already. And the other thing is, I will not be announcing the winner of last video's giveaway, or not giveaway, share away. My bad. I will not be announcing that in this video, but I will likely be announcing it in the next one, so stay tuned for that. Regardless, shilling stuff out of the way, let's jump into the actual video. Ooh boy, we're talking about time stops today. Oh man, has this video been long in the making. Well, I haven't technically been making it that long, but it's been on the list of videos to make since I started doing YBA stuff. So in other words, I've been waiting to make this one for quite a while. The main reason that I'm making it now though is because the 70% damage cap that they said they put on doesn't work at all, as in it just does nothing as far as I'm aware. I know I said in previous videos that it had to do with projectiles and stuff, but I was just doing a 2v2 stream with Star Platinum the World, which doesn't have any projectiles, and I was still one-shotting people. So in other words, it's not projectiles, the cap just straight up doesn't work. Frankly, the cap doesn't even need to be there, but we're gonna get to that later, this is just the introduction. So I'm planning on breaking this whole video into three sections. First, I'm gonna talk about why exactly exactly the time stops are ludicrously broken. Then I'm going to talk about how in the hell people are so okay with this. And finally, I'll talk about how they should be fixing them. I'd also like to say that everything in this video is strictly my opinion. So if you disagree with it, go ahead and leave whatever you think in the comments because I'm not the end all be all authority on this. I know there are a lot of people that say that I do nothing but speak facts, but that's not really true. Most of my channel is opinions. So while I do talk often about facts about stands, stuff I say isn't necessarily fact. It's 99% opinion, I would say. And just because you agree with an opinion doesn't mean it's a fact. With that little disclaimer out of the way though, let's jump into the first thing, which is why exactly are time stops so broken? There's a good laundry list of reasons why time stop in this game is so overpowered. And so with that, I'm gonna try to cover every single reason I can think of as to why this is. The first thing I'll be starting off talking about is clicks. For those who are unaware, the absolute best way to get the maximum amount of damage out of your time stop is solely based off of your mouse one clicks. The more mouse ones you do, the more damage you're gonna do. What this encourages you to do is not use any of your moves in time stop. Well, aside from Nyes if you're using any of the world variants. However, this isn't really true right now either, because knives break about 80 to 90% of the time, causing you to, once again, do nothing but click. Now, riddle me this. Don't you think there's something wrong with the game when you see someone use a move in time stop and you go, oh, they must not be very good because they're not doing clicks. Yeah, that's a problem. I'll get to exactly how I would fix the whole click issue later, but the fact that the most amount of damage you get isn't based off of any of your moves, but based on you spamming your mouse is really, really dumb. Another pretty huge issue with time stop is the range. Time stop has an absurd range which for all intents and purposes makes sense. If we think about this logically, in JoJo, when someone stops time, for all intents and purposes, they're stopping time on the entire planet, probably the entire universe. But translating that into a game is easier said than done. So there is a strict range put up on the time stop, but this range is massive. This means that if you time stop someone from 15 to 20 feet away, they still get stopped meaning you can time stop them from, well, basically anywhere, and they'll still get stopped as long as you're not super, super far. This plays directly into another problem with time stop, which only applies to Star Platinum the World and the World Over Heaven, which also happen to be the most broken time stops in the game, which is the fact that you can use time skip in your time stop. I've talked in a previous video on how this is complete BS, and you shouldn't be able to do this because you're stopping time in stop time, which is really dumb. But aside from that, basically what time skip in time stop allows you to do is to not think whatsoever when you use your time stop. Just press the key and even if you're 15 feet away, time skip right up to the opponent and still get close to the maximum amount of damage that you'd be able to get in the time stop. This is absurd. It means you can just chuck this out and it becomes a win button. 
Time stop should not be a win button, but right now it pretty much is. And the last issue with time stop, which isn't even completely referring to time stop being overpowered, is just how polarizing it is between time stop resistant stands and non time stop resistant stands. What I'm saying is, if you have a time stop resistant stand, you usually will take zero damage from the time stop if you know what you're doing. And if you don't have a time stop resistant stand, then you take almost all of your health in a time stop. This doesn't seem right, but it is the way it is currently in game. I think these are all the largest issues with time stop right now, but let's move on to why people think this is okay. Alright, so I know this is a video solely about time stops, but let's take a quick second to talk about infinite combos. Infinite combos suck. Big time. You know who likes infinite combos? Literally nobody. Because infinite combos in fighting games kill fighting games. Infinite combos are a very good way to instantly destroy your game and have people stop playing. Now you want to know something weird? I almost guarantee you that if you interviewed every single player on YBA, 99% of them would say, yeah, infinite combos are nonsense. Now here's the question. If those 99% of players would say that infinite combos suck, then why are they okay with TS one shots? And before you say, well, I'm not okay with TS one shots, I've got bad news for you. We've had polls on the YBA Discord answered, and there's always over 100 people voting no to the should you be able to one shot and time stop, etc. related polls. So the question becomes, why are people not okay with infinite combos, but they are okay with one shots? And the answer is, drumroll please, I have no idea. I really don't know, because if you really think about it, a TS one shot is basically just an infinite combo that comes out really, really fast, right? How is it any different? You're still dying in one shot and an infinite combo, it just takes longer. So at the end of the day, are infinite combos good for the game? Hell no, obviously not. And are TS one shots good for the game? Also no. But I think people just want that power trip, the feeling of being able to kill someone in one button. And I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but YBA does not play like that 90% of the time. YBA is a very slow paced game, even if you don't want to admit it. Characters have tons and tons of health, and time to kill can take an eternity, especially if you're using a lower end stand. The only people who would tell you that YBA is a fast paced game are the people using the meta stands that can shred you in seconds or kill you in one shot with time stop. Other than that, YBA plays very slowly. It's part of the reason that when you start getting comboed, it feels like an eternity when you lose just about the same amount of health that you would in other games. It just takes longer. This aspect of taking longer can be very frustrating at times, but that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about time stops. And considering I'm getting off topic, I think we should move on to how I would fix time stops which is likely going to be the longest section. So first things first, when it comes to balancing TS, this 70% damage cap is a complete waste of time. Just slapping on a 70% damage cap will not fix the fundamental problems of time stop because taking 70% of your health from time stop is still really stupid, especially if right now you don't need to earn it whatsoever. I think the biggest problem with time stop right now is clicks. Clicks do a ridiculous amount of damage in this game, and unfortunately the wrong thing was changed when they nerfed clicks. What they should have done is left the stun the same and heavily nerfed the damage, because this would kill two birds with one stone. It would make it so that number one, time stop wouldn't do some ridiculous damage and one shot kill you, and number two, it would make it so that stands that don't have combo tools would have a way of comboing and getting damage aside from the specific meta stands that have stuns and the like. This M1 change though wouldn't totally fix time stops. And because of that, honestly, I feel like time stops need a complete overhaul in this game. I don't think they'll ever get it because it would take a lot of work, but time stops need some help. I'm gonna go over exactly how I think time stops should be overhauled 
and I think it will probably be controversial, but we'll see. So let's get started, shall we? We'll start off with the absolute biggest change to time stop, and that is you can't move in time stop with time stop resistance. And hear me out, hear me out before you say, that's an awful change, now I'm just gonna get one shot by time stop. Keep in mind that we've also reduced the time stop damage heavily by changing the mouse one click so that they don't do 10 damage per click. And in my ideal world, you also can't use time skip to get on top of your opponent immediately, meaning people with time stop stands actually have to think before using their time stop. Now, do I want to do away with time stop resistance entirely? No. So the phrasing earlier was kind of bad admittedly, but how I would do time stop resistance is that the only people with time stop resistance are the stands that have time stops and use a rage bar in order to activate it. Well, that and GER, but I don't think GER should be able to move in the time stop they should only be able to use their return to zero. When it comes to the stands that have a TS rage bar, they should be able to have a specific key dedicated to time stop movement, which they can use as they see fit as long as they have rage, which runs down as they're moving in time stop. This does two things. It means if you're running one of these rage bar TS stands, then you have a way of moving in time stop, but there's a cost for it. And it also means that it will bring a little bit more balancing to the stands that can freely time stop as they can no longer move in time stop. Now I know what you're asking. Why do you want to remove TS movement? And the reason for that is because of the polarizing factor I said earlier. If a player knows what they're doing against time stop currently and has time stop movement, you will not do damage to them. They'll be 15 feet in the air and you won't get anything off your time stop. This is stupid. I know I'm talking about how time stop is overpowered, but the fact that you're just completely immune to TS if you have a TS resist stand is really dumb. I think making TS more consistent this way should help alleviate the other nerfs I'm proposing for it. Another change I'd like to see in Time Stop, which isn't really a change, is that I need to see the knives actually working, as right now they will go, embed into your opponent, and do zero damage. So ideally this gets fixed as well. Another change to Time Stop, which hopefully will incentivize people to use moves in their Time Stop, is that I think the user should have their move cooldowns severely reduced when in time stop. This means that they can use their moves and then they'll be off cooldown by the time TS ends so they don't just get punished for using all their moves in a time stop. That last point that I made when it comes to cooldowns could probably be ignored if you want there to be even more of a heavy impact on using time stop and getting damage out of it, which I could see. Now I know one of the questions you're asking which is, well, what happens to the other stands with time stop resistance that don't have rage bars and time stops? And my answer to you is, it's gone. Just get rid of it. Seamoon, can't do it anymore. GER, can't do it anymore. And do you know what doing this does as well? It prevents even more damage in time stop, because you know what also encourages one shots in TS? When somebody else can kill you during someone else's time stop. If a GER can't use scorpions and birds anymore in someone else's TS, it means that you won't get punished for some other jackass using a time stop and won't lose half your health immediately. I'd also like to make it clear that Tusk Act 4 can move during these time stops, which would make this passive a lot more special since now other time stop resistant stands can no longer move. This would be a nice thing to make Tusk Act 4 a little bit more unique. There's one more change I'd like to see with Time Stop, and it's a big one. Time Stop needs a longer windup. Currently, Time Stop is almost immediate. It's so fast, and it's very hard to react to. If you're at medium range, you just don't get a chance to react to it right now. And that's the ideal range to use Time Stop. The problem with Time Stop right now is even if you hit the person, a lot of times they still get the time stop off. So here's my proposed change. If you get ragdolled during the TS animation, which is made longer, then your TS gets cancelled. But if you get punched or have a projectile thrown at you or any of that, then your TS doesn't get cancelled. I also think that the TS times should be adjusted to each stand and have windups that reflect that. Star Platinum The World's time stop should technically be the shortest which means it should have a really fast wind-up. Whereas something like the world or the world over heaven should have the longest time stops, 
and in turn have a very long windup for them. I really think all of these changes to time stop are relatively reasonable, although I don't see any of them being added seeing as it's probably a lot of work. I also know some of you might bring up the fact that I didn't address the range of time stops, and that's because, well, the range of YBA time stops is actually pretty reasonable considering how fast everyone can move. In a game like Troublesome Battlegrounds, with player movement being relatively limited and slow, you can have strict ranges on time stop. But in YBA, this just isn't an option. People can move at warp speed with some of the stands in the game, can time skip, they can do all manners of things to get away. So that's why I don't think adding a strict range would do a whole lot of good to fix time stops, because it would probably just end up making them useless. I think I've been talking on for about six eternities though, so I should probably wrap things up, and I don't know if I really need a conclusion section on this one, so I think we're about done. I can't think of anything else to add, so man, ending this video like this kind of sucks because I just got off of making points. But I mean, I'm done. Have a wonderful day or night wherever you are. Oh man, it seems so wrong ending like this. Whatever. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.